People travel from all over the country to enjoy the beautiful weather and all that Florida has to offer. But for Robert Neiman and his wife, that dream vacation quickly turned into a medical emergency. All of a sudden I lost partial vision. Uh, I was looking across the room and my wife was talking to me and I could see the left side of the room but I could not see her standing on the right side of the room. So just let, let it pass and uh, not think it was too serious. But after thinking about it and after listening to my, my, wife, uh, my wife's reasoning, uh, we decided to come into the emergency room. We really didn't know where to go because we're, not, we're from Wisconsin. Fortunately, uh, when she looked at hospitals close by, Aventura popped up as on the top of the list and it said there was a three minute wait in their emergency room and we decided, well, let's go. Uh, if we can get in within three minutes, it's probably worthwhile and we'll find out, make sure that there's nothing seriously wrong. It was well worth the three minute wait for the couple that day. That's because after being treated at Aventura Hospital and Medical Center's emergency room, they discovered that Robert had experienced a stroke. But not just any stroke, one that was caused by a congenital heart defect, otherwise known as a PFO. A PFO is a small hole um, that um, located in the <clears throat> wall that separates the upper two chambers of the heart. It's a hole that shouldn't be there. It's a hole that uh, is important during fetal growth. However, as an adult, that hole should not exist and should close naturally over time once you're born. It shouldn't exist because if it does, it could lead to a stroke, as it did in Mr. Neiman's case. The cure is a minimally invasive procedure that is being pioneered in part by Dr. Robert Kubedu and the staff at Aventura Hospital and Medical Center. Mr. Robert Neiman is a, a very special patient because he was actually one of the very first ones um, that um, came to us here at Aventura Hospital for PFO closure. The technique to close the PFO using catheters is very similar to the technique that we use to do regular cardiac catheterizations. Um, what we do is we go through the, through the groin, we advance a catheter that's about uh, roughly eight millimeters or so and with that catheter we can uh, then reach the heart, identify the hole, and close the defect using a specific umbrella-like device um, that closes the hole and um, does so in a very effective and safe way. This cutting-edge procedure only takes a few hours to perform. Recovery time is minimal. The results are fantastic. Uh, I, long story short, I left the hospital the following day after the procedure. Uh, I've had absolutely no pain uh, and I've had no discomfort uh, and I quite frankly sometimes forget that I even had a, the procedure done. PFOs are present in about 20 to 25 percent of the general population and few people experience any symptoms. However, there is one potential risk factor that everyone should be aware of. Although research is still being conducted, Dr. Kubedu believes that there may be a strong correlation between congenital heart defects such as PFOs and migraine headaches. The correlation between the whole heart and the stroke and the way we believe that occurs is um, it's the passage of clots that may naturally come up to the heart from the legs through this defect um, and then up into your brain. Regardless of the correlation, what's most important is that you're aware of the symptoms of a stroke. Um, and they may vary from weakness to slurred speech um, to facial droop um, and, and so on. If you do have any of these symptoms, you should certainly um, make it to the hospital um, so that a brain scan, uh, be it CT scan or MRI, be performed because you can with these imaging tests detect whether you've had a stroke. While their Florida vacation may not have turned out just the way they planned, Mr. Neiman did find the silver lining. My wife has spoiled me for the last three weeks, uh, not left it, letting me lift anything, and uh, not so I haven't had to take the garbage out or do anything. We just got, actually today, final clearance to resume normal activities, so I'm going back to playing golf and 
taking out the garbage and <laughs> doing things like that. To learn more about PFO procedures in Aventura Hospital and Medical Center, go online to AventuraHospital.com. Reporting on the faces of HCA for the Healthcare News Network, I'm Robin Kane.